Well, you know, something we are really looking forward to here on PTL, saying so long to 2020. Goodbye. Yeah, I bet you are too. <laughs> but this year, we're doing it in a really big way. And in the coming days, we're going to reveal more of our plans for a PTL Highmark First Night Pittsburgh celebration. Heather Abraham and I will be your host this New Year's Eve. We're going to have all sorts of entertainment provided by the Pittsburgh Cultural Trust. And instead of coming into town to celebrate as we have in the past, you're invited to stay right at home, stay warm and be COVID safe. Love it in your pajamas. Yes. Yes. There you go. <laughs> so David, I know you have a big lineup of performances planned for First Night Pittsburgh, including someone that I know, hip hop composer and artist. Frizzy. Yeah, Yay. we are so excited about this. <laughs> and if you don't know him, here he is with his Mr. Rogers song from the WQED sweater sessions. It's his take on Won't You Be My Neighbor. Neighborhood, a beautiful day for a neighbor. Would you be mine? Could you be mine? It's a neighborly day in this beauty wood. A neighborly day for beauty. Would you be mine? Could you be mine? I love how he was able to just totally transform it, and yet it's the same song. Yeah. All right, we are happy to have Frizzy with us to talk about his big plans for New Year's Eve. Frizzy, thank you so much for joining us today. Oh, man, what's going on, only, guys? Only you can make a Mr. Rogers outfit look so cool and hip. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, that's the swag. You know, you got to bring the cardigan in. You know what I mean? It's a good look. <laughs> Tell us about that project, because, I mean, you won an Emmy for doing this and you really did transform the song and yet it's the same song and it's a song that's near and dear to people's hearts. So uh, were you fearful to, to like mess with it? <laughs> well, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm Pittsburgh born and bred, you know, so for me it was, it was a special moment because I grew up on that song, you know, so mm -hmm. it was, it, to me it was kind of like whistling with a little more rhythm, you know, it, it kind of comes naturally and just it gave me an opportunity to pay respect to him and to really, you know, really honor my Pittsburgh Pittsburgh blood and influence. So it was a lot of fun. I was anxious about it when QED called me and asked me to do it. I got the right that night. <laughs> <laughs> and you you really stay busy, Frizzy. You recently set a, a Guinness World Record, right? Guinness Book World Record for hey, the hey. longest rap battle of which I was present to witness this. <laughs> you did come up. You, gave me <laughs> you were my Jiminy Cricket right there. You know, it was great. No, I um, it was a lot of fun. I, you know, for Frizzy Day every year, I tell myself I'm going to do something special for the city, but not only that, for me, 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 it was insane. My team, I love my team, I love my team, I love my team, I love my team, you guys, it was important to fight, really, we're able to do something historic, especially with you know, you're breaking up just a little bit, Frizzy. I think we understood most of that. You talked about your team and everything. I have a question about setting that record because it's 31 hours at the Block North Way. And right. so, so are you- I don't you, know how he did it. Like, I, I mean, <laughs> do you have bathroom breaks during stuff like that? <laughs> Everybody asked that question. Um, yeah, I got, a, I got a five minute break every hour, but it accumulated. So I, I would go like eight hours straight and then take a five minute bathroom break and then go like another 10 hours and then take a five minute bathroom. Holy cow. That's I yeah. I could not even do that part. I of mean, it, when let alone I the, showed up, I was there for part. 10 minutes and then I left. <laughs> 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 All right. Hey, let's talk to you about first night because we are so yeah. excited and where you're going to be performing is very unique. Tell people about that. Well, man, it's, I'm excited because, you know, me and uh, Pittsburgh Cultural Trust teamed up and, you know, with everything going on this year with coronavirus and, and changing, you know, how we live our lives, um, it's, it's going to be exciting because we're doing it straight, you know, on your TV screens, exclusive. I get to perform on a rooftop of Pitt Avenue Place right next to the ball. When it drops, I'm doing my hit song, Gold, in it um, with my boy Scott Barb, Matt Fairk, DJ Chevy. Um, it's going to be something, something special, epic, and timeless. It's, a, it's the first time we've ever done something like this. And teaming up with you guys, man, it's going to be unstoppable. Everybody got to tune in from 11 p.m. to 12. Did you say you're on a rooftop? I'm going to be on a rooftop, man. 
Well, listen, I'm out now. My clothes might have a parachute attached to it. You never know. This first night, you never know. You know? <laughs> All right, now that's a great tease because now we're really excited about what you're going to do. And tell us, so <laughs> hey, this new song, if people are interested in it, it has just placed in the Apple uh, Music Grammy playlist, right? Yeah, man. Yeah, I'm part of the, the, the Recording Academy, man, which is an honor. And um, they decided to put gold in it right on a Grammy Apple Music playlist, uh, which is nuts. So you can go on your Apple phones, on the Apple Music and download that. You can go to iTunes, Spotify, anywhere. Gold in it is it's, it's been doing great. You know, this officially the Stiller song as well. You know, they play it every time we win a touchdown. And right now we're sitting on 11 and 0, baby. Yeah. Feeling real good. So, you know, <laughs> I, I, for me, I'm excited. Their, their uniforms got gold in it. And now 2021 will have gold in it as well. What I love about Frizzy is that he's so, so talented. He writes all of his own songs. Mm -hmm. I mean, just, just, you're just, you're just all that, Frizzy. <laughs> well, I'm trying try to be that in a bag of chips. I appreciate it. <laughs> I love you guys, man. I love you. I'm just excited to be part of this and part of Pittsburgh history. And, you know, I, I think it's going to be something that, you know, people will never forget. It's going to be a couple hundred thousand viewers. You know what I mean? We got, we got cultural trust, you know, backing everything up, hitting it up. First night friends where people can, you know, put in money to, to get a box delivered to them, you know, from Fancy Pants and Milkshake Factory to help donate money to the Cultural Trust. It's going to be like a big night and just the city coming together. Even though we can't be in person, we'll be in each other's hearts. Oh, really well said. Yes, I agree. We will end it on that, Frizzy. We are so excited for your success, and we're so excited for New Year's Eve. Thank you for joining well, us. Hey, thanks for having me, guys. I will see you guys when the ball drops, baby. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, Happy all right. <laughs> We're waiting for it and keep watching in the days leading up to New Year's as we reveal other big plans for our PTL Highmark first night celebration and then stay at home this year to ring in the new year with us. Our special show starts at 11 p.m. and it goes just past midnight.